Hey everyone, it's Shannon Rose with Topaz Labs here to give you another top tip in Topaz Studio. Today we're going to address our newest release, Texture Effects, and how it can be applied to enhance your images. Now Texture Effects can be used to enhance the dramatic feeling of your photo, or it can be used in an exaggerated manner to make your photos feel aged and gritty. Today's tutorial touches on a happy middle between the two. We're going to take this image of this newly married couple, and I really want to age and distress this a little. The setting of this photo reminds me of a classic wedding photograph, and that's exactly the direction I want to take it. So we're going to give this image a little bit of texture and sun damage to make it appear as if it's an older photograph. But first we need to get rid of all this blue overlay color and really get into a nice deep black and white. Now black and white is a pro adjustment, but if you don't have it, don't worry. You can just go to adjustments, basic adjustment, and take all the color out. Okay, let's get back to the tutorial. Go to adjustments, black and white, and go into the settings. Now I didn't do too many edits here, just mainly focused on the blue, purple, magenta, and a little bit of red. So go into the red and bring it down to negative 0.30. Select your blue and make it negative 0.51. Your purple needs to be negative 0.36 and magenta is around negative 0.39. That completes the step for black and white, so let's go ahead and get into these textures. Now with this image, we're going to apply three texture effects layers. The first is out of dust and scratches, and the other two out of light leaks. Now this is going to get a little tricky and repetitive, but stay with me because it's all going to be worth it. Go ahead and go to Adjustments, all the way down, and select Texture. Under the Group drop-down menu, go to Dust and Scratches, and this particular texture will be in Column 2, Row 10. We're going to go ahead and bring the opacity to 0.35, so it brings the texture up just a little bit. But notice this adds a lot of wear and damage immediately. I especially like how the texture seems to accentuate the shape of the couple's embrace. So we've got that applied and it's time to move on to the next step. These next couple steps are going to get a little repetitive, you guys, but stay with me. Go to Adjustments and add another Texture Effect layer. Go to the Group drop-down menu inside that Texture Effect layer, and this time choose Light Leaks. This selection will be in Column 3, Row 9. This gives the image a bit more of a sun damaged look, but I don't like how it's interfering with the texture. And I also feel it's a bit asymmetrical, so we're going to go ahead and flip it horizontally. We're also going to change the overlay to color and bring the opacity up to 0.92. This way, it's more adapting the color of the photo and acting more cohesive as opposed to laying on top of and adding to. Also, by flipping it, we give the photo better balance and eye flow toward the focus of the image, which is the couple. Okay, last step. Go to Adjustments and select Texture. Mimic our previous step and select Light Leaks. This time, though, our selection will be in Column 2, Row 10. This is a second sun damage effect, and notice how it adds a lot of depth to the photo completely different feeling from before. Go ahead and change the overlay to soft light because we're not going to do any other changes to this. And then we're done. Well, that's it for Topaz Labs top tips. Join me in two weeks to see what's next. And if you have anything you want to see, feel free to let us know.